Hey guys, so today I want to go through how to use ArcGIS's built-in video uh, capture devices to create an animated map and a video for different sections of your map uh, and also go through some of the idiosyncrasies let's go with of the built-in device. So first off you can see that I just have a, a map. This is a map of Alberta. It has some of the social vulnerability index that was developed for the United States um, and this is just for Alberta. And so it's already been symbolized. You can see that there's a variety of different layers on the side. Um, so we are good to make a map. So the first thing I want to do in this case is because there's different sections of vulnerability that uh, are that comprise this social vulnerability index, I want to break these down in the video and I want to go through each of those. And then you'll notice that there's a couple of different sections in here. You can see that uh, sections like Edmonton are broken up a little bit differently, uh, but it, if you're in the zoomed out format, you can't really see that. So I'm going to flip through each of those, and then I'm going to zoom in to Edmonton, and then I'm going to zoom into Calgary, and that's going to comprise what this map um, is looking at. So the first thing you want to do in this case is you want to find your animation section, which is under the View tab. Under the View tab, you see in the middle here, there is animation, and so you can hit Add. So this will crop up with um, a nice little dialog box, which I'm just going to dock in here. Um, and so in the docked one, you can see that it says first keyframe. And so this is where you're going to add different keyframes, or you can think of them as different like highlight moments would be another way to think of this. So you're going to highlight out different uh, views of the map that you want, and that's how you're going to do this. So in this case, I'm going to add my first keyframe. Now you'll notice at the top here that there's no um, time that has been done, and so I'm just going to add another keyframe down here so that I have that full three seconds coming out. Okay, And then I'm just going to go through and I'm going to keep this at the exact same resolution. I'm just going to switch this for the different layers. So this is the employment vulnerability. I'm going to add that keyframe and then I'm going to go to my population structure, add that one. Then I'm going to go to my next vulnerability. Add that one. Next vulnerability. You just gotta wait a little bit while art catches up. Add that one. And then add the last one. And then I'm gonna go back up to the top here and I'm gonna add the whole social vulnerability one. So this is the total vulnerability that we have. So now I have each of the different components, and you can see that they are showing up along the bottom here, right? So I've got this blue one, this purple one, uh, the orange one, uh, this one should be the green one, uh, and then the pink one, and the dark blue one. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. And so again, every single one of these is going to take three seconds. So just be mindful of how quick that is when you're zooming it in. So but I'm just going to position this kind of where I want it in my video and I'm going to add that one in. And you'll notice that my keyframe down here has changed and so that's that zoom level. Now in this case I'm just going to fly it down and it's going to fly as a bird flies in a straight line and I'm going to do that to all the way to Calgary. Now where is Calgary? There it is. And there is Calgary right there. And then I'm going to say Yep, this is what I want, and here is my Calgary one. Boom. And so then if I play this through, so you'll notice that this is taking 27 seconds. Now I can adjust some other things. I can add in a title, paragraph, image. Um, you know, I can, in this case, you'll notice that we don't have any legends or things like that. So that is a bit of a concern when you're dealing with this type of thing is, is just what you see on your map. So just be mindful of that when you're going through that. Um, but there's a whole bunch of different overlay options that you can have here when you're doing this as well. Um, 
I'm just going through the basics, basics in this case. We'll kind of circle back around with some of the more advanced varieties of this in a later video. So, but if I hit play, then you'll see that it's crawling through the timeline and it's just going through each of these different layers and it's just going through and it's playing that out. And so you can take a look and see, yes, this is enough time for it. Yes, it's showing up the way I want it to or no, maybe it's not, right? And so that goes through all of the top ones, and then I'm zooming it in, and you'll see how quickly it zooms in. Now you'll notice that it doesn't stick on Edmonton very long, so what I'd probably wanna do is I'd probably wanna go back to this keyframe, and I'd probably wanna say, uh, I'd probably wanna go back to this one, and then maybe I want to add another keyframe that is that one and move it back. So then it's going to stick on that keyframe for a little bit. And same thing with this one. Maybe I want to duplicate this one out too and I'm going to add another keyframe with that. And so then if I go back to here and I play this out, right, then it's going to take that three seconds to zoom in. It's going to stay for three seconds so I can look at it. Then it's going to fly to Calgary and then it's going to stay in Calgary. So just keep that in mind when you're doing these videos is you want to double check it, make sure that it's staying so that you're seeing the exact thing that you want it to see. So that's a very basic one of how to go through that. And then under the export, you can see that there's a variety of different options. The automatic option is this GIF format and you can see that uh, you've got a bit of this boundary on either side where it's cutting off that is what the video will look like if you've got um, if you've got it as a YouTube one instead then it'll change what that uh, key what those keyframes will look like if you've got it as an Instagram it'll change that HD 720 it'll change that so just think about those things when you're making your videos and then this will automatically save it in your ArcGIS folder uh, under your media folder and in this case I'm gonna call this uh, the Sovi map of Alberta and because you're not throwing it into Arc you don't really need to worry about the name and then you can hit export and so it's preparing this map for export and that's what what's gonna happen in it now under your advanced file exports you can see things like keyframes and what frames how long it's gonna last all that jazz um, just know that GIFs are going to be kind of your lowest resolution, uh, followed by Instagram and Twitter. YouTube uh, and your HDs are going to have a much higher uh, video resolution. So if your video is ending up kind of shaky, uh, you might want to adjust some of those things. And then you'll be able to see it count down here, how many of those, it, uh, where it is on the export. And once it's done, you'll be able to find it where you need to. So that is a little bit about how to make a video. Thanks so much, and I'll be back with some of the more advanced features and also how I typically do these layouts because I don't typically do them in ARC.